Okay guys, we got this uh, 06 Ford Explorer right here, 4.0. And they said it has a battery light that comes up. Um, you'll see it here in a second. Right there. See the battery light? Um, and it sets these codes right here. So you got this generator control output, or circuit code, and you'll see our battery voltage up here, the car won't charge. Um, so what I did was, I took my test light, and I checked for power from here to ground and power to power to make sure that we weren't not charging. Um, oops, did I hit my floors? There we go. And then um, what I did was, I looked at the diagram, and then this is supposed to have a feasible link right here for this. And if I take this and run it through my test light right here, see it comes to my headlight bulb, and we run it to this, we connect this back to battery positive. Look at that, our light lights, because they're pulling more than five amps. We put two of these, supposed to be a 20 amp circuit. Put two bulbs, you can see the brightness there. And look at our charging voltage. Now we're at 15 volts right there. 15.5, 15.8, which actually this might be a dead alternator. That's really high. It shouldn't be that high, but maybe they got a bad alt manager because they said there's a second one they put on. But yeah, we got that, and I'll show you guys the diagram. Right here, uh, let's see. Let's go back. Let's go back. So here is our charging circuit. Let's zoom out a little bit. So here's our alternator right here. Here's our battery pause, battery plus, which is our big one, which comes up, goes to this fusible link here, and then to the battery right here. But then we also have this one right here, fusible link B, which comes over, and that's a, supposed to be a brown, and then go to here. And I checked for the splice, and I didn't see either one of these, like on the diagram. Um, I went to component location, I mean not on the diagram, I didn't see it on the car because I see it, uh, yeah, this is the four liter. Uh, this ain't the one that I clicked on. Oh, that's a four six. Took us to the wrong diagram. Let's go back. Let's click on this one right here. This is what I clicked on before. Put a location, scroll down. liter right here and then it should have a feasible link A and B right here which is supposed to be like right here which I didn't see that I looked on here and I didn't see it unless it's in this big wall it's right here which is Check it. And if it's not there, oops, don't want to do that. I don't want that to go out. Um, if it's not in the tape, then I'm just gonna make a. I don't know what I did with it. I got out an inline fuse. I'm just gonna hook an inline fuse up right from the terminal there, right to that wire, and then we'll be done here. So I'm gonna take this right here. I found this damaged section in here right here, so I don't know if that, it looks like it was arcing out on the alternator or something like that. So I don't see that thing in there, I even peeked in here, so it's got to be down farther. So I'm just going to cut this wire and like I said, I'm going to jump it over there and then uh, it'll be just like factory. I'm just going to put a fuse in there and then it should be good to go because they said fix it the best you can. So that's what we're going to do and then we'll take this all back up. Okay guys, so it's not the prettiest. But um, that's where I put the fuse. We'll start this up and I will stick the fuse in and show that it's charging. Let's see. They also have like a bad connector on this mass airflow sensor because I can just bump it. So we're not charging right now. Let's put our fuse in. Got a 20 amp fuse right here. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, I got the wrong fuse, crap. Uh, this is a mini. Let's 
see. I've got the wrong fuse. Let's grab a mini fuse. that in there and you can see our battery voltage man this is hard to do while it's cold there we go so we got that on there battery voltage let's erase these codes I don't know, maybe there's a fur job. This thing's running really, really bad. But they wanted me here to fix the alternator charging issue. So they could drive it. There we go. Look at that. So our only code is now our EVAP system. So, hope you guys like this one. Show you inside, we probably don't have the charging light anymore. Look at that, no more charging light. Hope you guys like this. See you later.